you grab banana. La la la. I missed the banana. <laughs> oh no, now the monkeys will be hungry because you skipped the tasty banana. Yeah, uh, you guys, don't freak out, but you'll notice the members went down again. Um, we were at 650, which was my goal for the week. We were at 650 like a day ago, two days ago. And uh, sadly, they just, uh, a bunch of them expired. And there's nothing you can do. It's all right. You know, I, I my goal is by the end of this week to get back to 650. I hope we will. Um, so we'll see. And of course, my goal is that every day I hit at least a $50 tip goal. We did do that earlier today with uh, Mortal Kombat. So, you know, whatever comes in tonight, thank you guys in advance for any contributions. I really appreciate it. It's that simple. You know, I do th plenty of things for fun. So what I need to do is I need to choose the things that I can do for fun that will also be profitable so I could keep doing things and having fun. Or else this whole thing ends. If I just do whatever I want willy-nilly and I don't care about money, guess what? This all goes away. No more streams, no more YouTube. It all just dies out because that's reality. And I don't want that to happen. I'm pretty sure those of you who are fans of mine don't want that to happen either, right? <coughs> oh, shit. See, this is what I like about our... our Late night chill crowds. Look, everyone's being nice to each other. Everyone's saying, hey, what's up? Right? Everyone's waving. I like that. Sometimes the daytime streams aren't even like that. Sometimes the daytime streams are people, they come in and then the game starts and they just get like silent. You know? <laughs> that happened earlier. I was playing Mortal Kombat and we had over 400 people on the stream, but no one was talking in the chat. I'm like, dude, we have over 400 people watching this, this gameplay content. Why is no one talking? I like having a more chill atmosphere where people kind of feel like it's a relaxing session and just hanging out while we're playing an awesome game. You know what I mean? No, how about this? Banned, 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 banned. Gone. Forever. Because I don't put up with your fucking bullshit. Your toxic shit is not welcome on my fucking streams ever. So get the fuck out. Now. It's not a funny fucking joke. It's not. You're out of here. So I'm done with it. Okay, Tony just did a super test. When will I sell more merch? I've already answered this question. I am not against selling merch. I don't really care about it. It's not about making money for me. It would be more of a fan service thing. But over two years ago now, you know, I was selling merchandise over on Teespring, which is now called Spring, for over five years. Okay, I, it was like, well, I take that back. It was like four years then, I think. And... All of a sudden, out of nowhere, they keep me out of the pro out of their, their business. They just say, oh, we're closing your store. When I asked them why, they never responded. They literally ghosted me. So it leads me to believe that this was in line with the same time when I got kicked out of the Twitch partner program and other, and other things as well. So I think what happened is someone had, like, messaged them a bunch of bullshit about maybe out of context comments I had made, like, 10-plus years ago. You know, dumb stuff. And they're dumb and they believe it. Remember, a lot of these companies today have changed. So... There you go. And you know, already I'm seeing it. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to bring this up. Some people in the stream chat are, are being critical. Well, it's all words. It's all words. Uh, you, you already did all words, and uh, I don't understand. You guys got to understand something. This is the truth. The designs that were not all words actually don't sell as well. Most of the, one, the designs that have sold the best on my Teespring shop over the last year were actually all words. Or just like words with one little piece of artwork, like one little thing. Um... Now they're all about their social image. They're all about, oh, we have to be in line with what social media wants. So if you get a few people complaining about someone, they'll just kick you right off the business, which is stupid, obviously. I mean, like I said, with Teespring, these people at Teespring, when I started being a streamer in 2017, came to me. I didn't even want to sell merch. They came to me and said, we want to set up a store for you and create merch because we want to partner with you. They knew who I was. They knew all about my past in 2017. Why is it that in 2021, four and a half years later, they decided, oh, you're, we don't want you on our site and they, they closed my store? You tell me. It doesn't make any sense at all, does it, right? So, the deal, Tony, is this. I'm not opposed to selling merch. I would do it right now. But I'm not going to spend the time and effort getting designs made, setting up a store, setting up the merch and everything. Because it's a lot of work to set up the shirts and get the logos fit and the colors and everything. And, and you know, the profit margins, which, by the way, I used to make a dollar a shirt on Teespring. That's my profit. It was a dollar a shirt because that's all I cared about was that you guys had merch. I didn't care about making money on it. It's not true. No one believes you. You're an idiot. So if I'm going to do it, all right, I want to be 
in a situation where basically we are guaranteed to be okay. Meaning, it's not going to be some business that for some reason, if my trolls complain to them, they're going to listen to my trolls with nonsensical stuff and shut my store. So, if anyone knows of a business that's business-minded and not stupid and doesn't bend over to trolls, I would love to know. And I've asked this for the last few months and no one's really given me any recommendations. Whenever you wear a piece of my merchandise, immediately your looks, right, your attractiveness goes up by about double, about 100% increase in attractiveness, all right? So if you're, say, 2% attractive to the sex that you're trying to attract, you'll become 4%. If you're already 100% attractive, you will now become 200% attractive. And much like those fables and stories you hear where people drink a love potion and now everyone's in love with them and it's the opposite effect, that's the kind of effect you can get from wearing my merch. There was one company that I was aware of that did a good job with merch, and I reached out to them and wrote them a big email explaining all my situation and everything and i said would you guys be willing to do business with me uh because i'd be interested they never responded so you know what that means they don't want to say no but at the same time if they say yes then if they get harassed by my trolls then they have to be like oh we you know oops we said yes so that's why they didn't say nothing so that way maybe if they if we do it and nothing happens or you know what i mean then they can they can say oh we didn't tell you that right so I'm not going to bother because, again, if they if they have to come chat contact me, be like, no, nah, we're not going to just bend over and listen to trolls who are hating you on the Internet and referencing things from 10, 15 years ago that you don't do. Like, that's ridiculous. No, we're not going to do that. Instead, we're going to be, you know, have a brain in our heads and we're going to partner with someone who has a good fan base who wants merch, you know. So, uh, but, you know, th this is what's crazy about it, right? Guys like LTG who have said, way worse things than I ever did, right? They, he has merch. So that's what's crazy to me. It's like, how is how are guys like him able to have merch but not me, you know? It's just wild to me. It is. How is it that I'm somehow became a target of the ire of the internet when there's people out there who've done way worse than me uh, and they do it regularly. It's not like, oh, they did it once. This is something that they did all the time and they keep getting, like, like LTG just got fucking banned again from Twitch for like the millionth time, you know? And it's like, so why can't I make merch? And somebody tell DSP to get off my dick. This hasn't been the first, second, third, fourth, fifth person. You know, so I don't know. But again, I would need your input, guys. I'm not going to waste time on it. If I don't know a place that's reliable to do it and is going to not waste all of our time, I'm not going to waste time. So if we know, if you guys know of a place that you think would be reliable, I'd be down. If anyone wants to send me information, you know, shoot me an email, the place you could recommend. I'm open to suggestions. I actually wanted to have merch for this year, and I don't know who I could do it with, you know? <clears throat> Golden Noble still has some of my old merch. That's cool. You saw last month for my anniversary, I had some of my old merch right here. Shirts that I still have and stuff, you know? Pretty cool. Again, if you have a suggestion, email me and give me the details. Because right now, if you tell me what it is, I'm not going to remember. But if you email me, I'll, I'll talk with you about it. And we'll try to figure it out. I'm down for that. Uh, the sponsorship is now gone.